Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nath and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install an input overlay into OBS that is permanent and that will not crash your PC like no board does for me when I play CSGO. Really quickly, this link is going to be down in the description below. I'm going to also install this link on my Google Drive just in case this link gets t uh, torn down and I'll put that there as well. Next, I'll also put WinRAR down in the description below if you do not have WinRAR. If you have 7-Zip, just do this with 7-Zip as well. You're going to need a zip file opener. So first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the GitHub link, and then you're going to want to in install the uh, input overlay version 4.8b at the moment. That's what this is. Uh, Windows 32.64.zip. This is the one you want to install. So you click that. And then once, you go, once you're in your downloads folder, all you want to do is click on it once, right click. And then with WinRAR, you're going to want to hit extract files. Okay. And this should just put it right there. Once you've have this, all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press your Windows key, type the word OBS in there or Streamlabs OBS. You can do this with that as well, I believe. Um, but I'm going to do this with OBS Studio. Open file location. Once you've done that, click on OBS once. Like not not the not to change the name, but just to make sure it's highlighted. Right click it, open file location again. Now once you've done that, you can actually go back on the top over here. You can click on bin and then you can go back to OBS Studio. Now you should see a whole bunch of things in here. A whole bunch of things that may or may not make sense to you. You we're gonna need this. So you're gonna to want to do is double click on the file itself, and then you want to click on plugins, and then in here you want to just take this, drag it over, and drop it. I'm not gonna do that as I already did it. You guys can actually see on the screen the overlay that I've made or that I've put together, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So I'm gonna show you how to how to put the overlay for the one through to I believe it's five or six, as well as WSD and your spacebar and everything. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. These are the plugins you're going to need. And then once you're done, you can actually go back one page and then click on presets. Once you've gone into presets in the OBS studio folder, you're going to want to make a new folder, call it keyboard inputs in here. You're going to want to install these two. And if you're, if you're a controller player, like you play with a Xbox controller or a PS4 controller or like a PlayStation controller, um, you can also put these in for the Xbox and PlayStation people. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and click on the preset. And then in here, there should be gamepad. This gamepad one, this is the Xbox one. This is for the 360 as well as the Xbox one and the one S. Uh, and then you click on submitted if you're a dual shock player and you could, there's two dual shocks in here that you could choose between. I do not own a dual shock controller, so I can't like verify that it works myself, but I'll go through the same process as I did with everything else with uh, a dual shock controller. We'll just see if it'll work. So once you've done that, you want to take that file that you want and you're going to want to drag it over into your keyboard inputs. Once you've done that, click continue and you'll see dual shock four for me. That's what I'll see here. And then I click extract files. Now that I have the dual shock controller in here, I should be able to see this when I click on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag OBS back over to the main stage. Ideally at this point, what you want to do is you want to restart OBS. So you close OBS completely and then you reopen it. What I'm going to have to do here is add scene or add source rather. And then I'm going to want to go to input overlay, add a new input overlay. We're going to call this PS4. Okay. Browse file. And then in here, it should lead you to the OBS Studio folder. What you want to do is you want to go and click on keyboard inputs. Uh, and then you want to go click on your controller. And if you're not sure which one you should be using, just use the first image. First image should be fine. It'll look like this. It'll look all wonky. Then you're going to want to click on the bottom layout file configuration or layout config file. Browse. Then you click it. And then you click gamepad overlay. And then okay. Once you have done that, you should see this on the screen. Like I said, I cannot turn off the thing, but I can I can do this. Just so you guys can see it. I won't be able to see it, but you guys can see it. And now you have a dual shot controller on your screen. What you could do is you could actually resize it and everything, and then like put it here. And then the joysticks, the buttons, the bumpers, all the start select, everything should just work just fine. Um 
but it, to me it's kind of useless because I don't have a DualShock controller. Uh, but yeah, this is how you add a controller input as well as a mouse and keyboard input uh, into OBS permanently. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. My name is Naif. Peace.